Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we were at the Yamaha Blue Crew Camp 2022, and I had a great time. One of the main reasons we went to this camp is because we got to hang out and train with some of the fastest guys in the country, like Lane Michael, Stu Baylor, Jason Raines, Rachel Archer, and Mike Witowski, Randy Hawkins, and even Ginger Billy, which we'll, we'll explain later, a little later in the video. So in this video, we're gonna talk about mostly four topics, how to sign up for the Blue Crew Camp and the cost, what you get with the Blue Crew Camp, what's the training like, and what happens at the end of the day when everything's over. That's a great introduction, Ryder, and that's right. And just so you know, this is not clickbait. You really can get this experience for free. Even if you've never raced a day in your life, even if you're a sea rider, or you're a double A rider, it doesn't matter to Yamaha. So we're gonna go over all the details again, how you can do this and what's involved, and you can decide if it's something you'd like to do. Mm -hmm. And what's going on here before we get into that rider? Yeah, we're just uh, traveling to our first section where I'll be training with Stu Baylor, Mike Watowski, and yeah, just Stu and Mike. And here's my, so they do one time lap at the beginning, and then after the training, they do another time lap to see how much you improved. And this is the first time lap. All right, good. So we're just gonna let video run in the background because it's kind of boring to hear us talk. But let's get into first again, how can you sign up for this and what would it cost you? So there is a zero dollar fee to sign up for the Blue Crew Camp. Although there is a hundred dollar deposit, which you get back if you go to the camp. Um, so how to become a Blue Crew member? So signing up for a Blue Crew is something you used to do in the past when you want a contingency. However, now you sign up for Blue Crew, whether you're going for contingency, your bike is eligible or it's old, it doesn't matter, you just sign up and then you get notified of Yamaha events like this. And it's really that simple. Uh, and you don't have to be a racer to qualify for uh, going to one of these free training hangout days. You can be a great racer, an A rider, and get, uh, get put in a group that'll help you there. And if you're not a Yamaha owner, you would not sign up for Blue Crew, but you do have the opportunity to sign up for non-Blue Crew or Yamaha only events. And by the way, this little stream crossing you're seeing right here, this was like the A section that they took to. Like they break all the groups up. And we're going to get into more details there, but don't be like, oh my God, I've never ridden with rocks like that before. This might not be for me. We'll get into more details later on how it works. Oh, and there he yeah, is. There's the man, Stu Baylor. He's a, he was just telling us or teaching us right here. So um, you do have to ride a Yamaha to go to this camp, but they also the uh, they also have another camp at Snowshoe GMCC, which we have another video of, um, about that. that oh we'll yeah, you should definitely check out the Snowshoe yeah, video. That's we'll, pretty cool. We'll list it in the description. So you don't have to ride a Yamaha to go to that camp, and it's pretty much the same instructors. Yeah. So at the Blue Crew Snowshoe, it's not Blue Crew. It's it's sponsored by Blue Crew, but you don't have to be a Blue Crew member at Snowshoe. They take. 150 people yeah and it's not quite as private how many people do they take here max they take a max of 50 but this year there was only 32 people and it was kind of nice because it was like one-on-one -on -one with your instructor basically yeah so what they do with all the people is they give everybody like a, a color-coded sticker and your name right and what yeah. what is it how does that work so they color code the stickers based on your ability so pink was the uh, a level riders which was what I had, and then there was orange and yellow for lower level riders. Right, and then you go out in different groups, uh, and then they take all the instructors and split them up into like three stations in different parts of the property. And this property is also where Yamaha does their testing and training, so you're not just at a piece of property in the woods, you're at a pretty famous place. Yeah. And it's big. Mm -hmm. So what do you get for um, becoming a Blue Crew member and going to this camp? Well, first of all, you get a RV. You get if you have an RV or a van, something you want to sleep in, you get a free place to park it. And there's also a lot of nearby hotels, so it's easy to find a place to sleep. Nearby hotels and restaurants. Yeah. But speak of restaurants, tell them about what what the situation is with the food. Oh yeah, they serve not breakfast, but really nice lunch and dinners. I mean. 
They had like platters, and you'd go around like a buffet and put whatever you wanted on your plate. On your plate, and we're kind of like health nerds, so we're not gonna eat anything like hot dogs and hamburgers. And they had really healthy food, which was nice. Yeah, so we do eat hot dogs and hamburgers, but we didn't want to spend the whole weekend living on hot dogs and hamburgers, so we brought an entire huge double door refrigerator full of food, and we had guests. And then we even stopped for more food because we didn't think we had enough. And we brought all the food home because they had really awesome food, desserts, tons of coolers with bottled waters, Gatorades, and other stuff like that. So they even had um, uh, people driving around in their R-Max, which is like a razor type thing, and like delivering cold, ice cold waters to people um, on, uh, out in the trail, which was really cool. Yeah. Here's me in a second laughing at my dad. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Well, that's right. I was watching the instruction, and then I looked over at you, and um, you had your chamois on your head. <laughs> that's a sham wow. That's not just a chamois. <laughs> your sham wow on your head, and you were holding the GoPro, and you looked like you looked very confused, and it was funny. Hey, I'm old, and I'm like totally dehydrating, and I was using that <laughs> sham wow as a sun deflector. It's in, man. I'm telling you. Whatever you say. So another thing you get with this camp, I mean, it's kind of a small detail, but I thought it was cool. You get a free swag bag at the end. Uh, it's got a bunch of Yamaha merch in it, hats, um, keychains, pop sockets. And you also get to, like, sit down and eat and kind of live with the pros. Like, when you guys are eating lunch, the pros don't go eat in some special room or a special trailer. I mean, you can go up to them and sit right next to them and talk with them and take pictures. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, they are sitting basically an arm's length from you or two arm's length. It's not like, you know, the pros sit here and, you know, the normal people like us sit over there. So it was really, really cool to be able to, like, mingle with them and talk with them and, you know, just ask them questions and hear their stories. Mm -hmm. And what about the, the tractor trailers and the rigs that were there? Oh, yeah, they had a really nice, they had the 65 through 250 on display, the 2022s that you could sit on and look at. And they also had... Um, like tent, not tent, said pop ups. I don't know what it's called. You got to sit right next to the factory uh, Ampro trailers when you were eating under like a tent that kind of had air conditioning. Yeah, they had like an outdoor air conditioner, which was really cool. And oh my god, did you need it? It was like Amazon hot. Yeah, it was pretty hot. Oh, yeah, I remember at one time the coolest the motorhome would get was 78, and when we went back into it, we're like, oh my god, it's freezing in here. We could never shower in this place, it's too cold. It was like. <laughs> really profusely hot. Um, so now we'll talk a little bit about what the training's like at this Blue Crew camp. So with the training, you get one day of instruction with Stu, Baylor, Mike, Lane, Rachel, Jason, and Brandy, and Emily and Preston Rain, Emily and Preston Rains. And then you get one trail ride day with them all too, and everyone else. So um, you get also a lot of grass track, woods, a little hard and narrow, hill climbs, and more too. Yeah. So the um, the A group was pretty extreme, and here's Ryder in that A group, and uh, they don't they don't mess around down south. I mean, I've been racing a long time, like even the races, they're tough, but they don't put the like you know the B level and C level kids through any of that like rivers or hills that you just saw. Like that's pretty le pretty legit stuff. Oh, and here's our uh, idol, Randy Hawkins. So on the training day, your group, like we discussed earlier, the pink, yellow, and orange group, rotate in two to three hour sessions in between um, riders. And in between the sessions, you can go back to your truck and get some water, get something to eat, and yeah. Do your bike repairs if you need any. Yeah. And for the trail ride day, the trail ride was supposed to be 15 miles, but I only, my watch recorded 12 miles. And they also had places that you could watch the pros struggle on hill climbs and try to get it up, try to get up the hills. And it was cool to watch them all struggle because they're like the fastest guys in the country. And watching them struggle was kind of like relatable. And, and the normal people too were trying the hills as well, right? Like yeah. ev everyone gets to try what the top guys and man, they are a hundred percent legit hills. I wish cameras would really show so the steepness of it. Yeah. And for the trail ride day too, it was mostly single track, but it did have some quad trail. 
but it was really nice trail. So let's talk a little bit now about what happens at the end of the day, which might not sound so important, but like what happens when your train's over? Does everyone just go back to their hotel or to their truck and is that the end of it or is there more to do? Yeah, so after the, the riding, they had games and prizes. So like I, I played in a game at Cornhole with Stu Baylor. It was kind of fun. Who won? Yeah, Stu did. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Adults, oh, you want to explain the game? Oh, God. The, the adults play a game is crazy. They have a doctor, the team, called Dr. Tanner, and he's like a leading uh, doctor for all the pros, not just Yamaha. But he brought a portable x-ray machine, and all the pros were going up there, and basically anyone, if you want to, and you would get free uh, x-rays, and who was seen, like, whose bones were healed, whose were still broken. And I thought I had a video of it. It was pretty funny, but I guess I don't. Oh, they also had a photo shoot, which was pretty cool. Everyone with their Yamaha clothes on. Uh, what else did they? Yeah, you can get your picture with all the top pros, right? And and uh, Ginger Billy actually showed up too, right? Yeah. Like I saw him walking through the pits, and I'm like, holy crap! And I guess he heard me yell that, and he kind of looked at me, and that was like the worst thing he could have done, because once we made eye contact, I had to actually go talk with him. But oh my god, what a super nice guy, really friendly. And uh, he uh, he rides and so does his kid. So they were there too. But speak of funny, like Randy Hawkins gets up and like kind of gives everyone the information like we do. And man, that guy could do a stand up doc too. He was funny. He was telling, and there was a lot of kids there too. He's like, all right, we're going to start off the day with a little bit of a warm up. You got to go put your boots on and we're going to run a mile. And it was like literally like almost 100 degrees. And <laughs> some people thought he was serious. But anyway, that was it was very light, light hearted, funny stuff. It was good. I like that. Yeah. And then, um, what happened at the very end when all that was done? Yeah, they had like this fun lake that we went jumping in each day. Uh, it was, they had like this huge bicycle ramp in it. That was really sketchy. Like if you stood on it, it bounced up and down. But uh, it was it was cool. It was like a pastrana style ramp, and they had like a bike with floats on it. And yeah, yeah, it was some like... guy rode down the rode down it into the river. Yeah. So um, that's basically what the day was, and. Uh, I can't believe we got to do this for free, and you can also do it for free. Just got to kind of get the whole shot on the registration. When you're a Blue Crew member, you get an email about it. So if you have any questions about the camp or you're going to do one, let us know because we would love to see you there. And as always, please like and subscribe if you don't mind. It would mean a lot to us, and we look forward to your comments. Yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.